Hi, my name is Alex with Dave Tech Tech Tutorials and today I'm going to be answering the question, is it better to delete a project or archive it? If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel, drop a like if you get value out of this video, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or if you just want to discuss the topic, let's do it in the comment section below. Let's jump into the video. For today, I want to talk about deleting. And so let me show you what I mean by deleting a project. So if you go to Jira, you come over to the right hand side and you go to your projects. If you're an administrator, you will have the ability to click on a project and you will have the option to move to trash. And so that basically means that you delete a project. Now, when you click on that button, you don't actually delete the project right away. That project, if you look closely, I'm just gonna randomly throw one away. So let me pick one that I don't really care about. If I click on move to trash, it's gonna tell me, hey, the project along with the issues, components and attachments and versions will be available. This is key, they will be available for 60 days. After that, it will be permanently deleted and only your Jira admins can restore it. So if I click on that button, I can always come in, if I'm a Jira admin, I can always come into my trash and I can restore my project. So I can come here and restore. And I'm actually gonna restore both the projects that I have in here because I completely forgot that I deleted a project. So that is how you delete the projects. And those are some of the, some of the things that you should know, which is basically everything in that project gets deleted and it actually doesn't get deleted for at least 60 days. If you truly wanna delete the project, if you 100% want it gone today, you move it to your trash, you click on this red move button, you go into your trash, you come to the ellipses over here and you will delete permanently. This will allow you to basically bypass that 60 day waiting period and just permanently delete it. Now, why would you wanna do that? Why would you wanna permanently delete the project now rather than waiting 60 days? Well, this is one of the key reasons. This is the key indicator as to why you would wanna delete the project. If you are trying to recreate a new project with the same key or the same name, then you need to delete the project because Jira will not allow you to have two projects that have the same key. So if you wanna free up that key, you obviously can rename the project or you can completely permanently delete it, right? Just, just deleting it, just moving it to the trash, since it doesn't go away for another 60 days, won't actually solve the problem. You have to come in to your trash and then delete the project permanently, which will then free up that key. Now also keep in mind that this activity is recorded in the audit log. And also another benefit that you get from, from deleting your project now is that it frees up your ability to clean up your workflows, your statuses, different fields that might be in play because everything is gone. All their associations are gone. And so now you can do some backend cleaning. So that's the delete. So let's talk about the archive. So what is the difference? Well, deleting, as you can see, completely deletes it. And even if you forget, if you just delete it, still after 60 days, that project will be completely gone. Now, if you're a Jira Premium, this is a premium and enterprise only feature. If you're a Jira Premium subscriber or enterprise, you have the option, if you go back to your projects, you have the option to not delete the project. You have the option to archive the project. And this message tells you the project along with its issues, components, attachments, and versions will be archived. The issues will be read only and can be accessed via direct link. That basically means that if you have the URL to that project, you'll be able to go to it. But if it's not, it's not gonna show up in that project list, it's gone. So unless you have the link directly or your Jira admin to be able to see this back door, you will not see this project anymore. And the issues also won't appear in search. So this is kind of key as well. Only the Jira admins can restore the project. So when I click archive, the projects now come to the archive section. And here I can basically restore them. That's my only option. I can't permanently delete them because it's not a trash can. So that begs the question then, what is the difference between deleting and archiving in layman's terms? And so easily, the, the easiest way for me to describe this is if you permanently delete a project, everything is gone. All of its associations are gone. So you'll never be able to reference that project or the issues inside of it because they're, they, they're gone. When you archive the project though, at a later point, right? So I can archive a project from a year, two, three years ago. I can always restore it. So if I change my mind, I can always bring back all those issues and all that data back like if nothing would have happened. Kind of like Thanos' blip. If 
that's the kind of process that you have. Maybe you have data retention policies in your company. You may want to consider what is going to let you be in compliance. Do you have to permanently delete the purge, right? right? Do you have to permanently purge everything or is hiding it and making it read only enough? So that's really something you should discuss with your data management policy makers at your company. But just know that archive projects, you can always restore them at any point, even if years pass by. But in the delete it, you got literally 60 days. Another kind of, I don't want to call it a drawback, but another con of doing the archive. Well, there's a lot of benefits. One of the major disadvantages that I think is the project's going to be hidden. So it's not going to be visible to the public. And so in the future, if somebody tries to create a new project that already has that same key, they're going to hit a wall because it's just not going to let them create that project because that project hasn't been deleted. Everything exists. And another con that I just came up with here is if you try to like clean up workflows, right? Like maybe you're cleaning up your status. You're trying to remove statuses. Maybe you're trying to delete some older workflows that are just not in use. If your archive project is referencing it, then you got to go restore the archive project and either delete it or make the workflows inactive and then or completely remove the workflows from that project. And so it gets a lot more messier. So obviously, if you're doing a cleanup, a purge of this project will help you with that cleanup. But then you've completely lost anything in it. So another workaround that you have is maybe you delete the project, but you move or migrate those issues to another project. So you still keep the data, just not the workflows, the fields and all that other stuff. Anyways, that's the differences between deleting a project and archiving a project. If you found that valuable, please make sure you smash that like button. If you've made it this far into the video and you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. And then finally, two quick announcements. I got the merch, so make sure you check out the link in the description for the merch store. And I also have paid courses. So if you're interested in taking your Jira knowledge to the next level, check out the description below as I have three courses that you might find very, very beneficial and will help you grow as either a Jira admin, as a scrum master, or maybe you're just trying to figure out what this Jira stuff is. I got a course for you as well. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now.